What's up guys, this video is gonna be about something that I think is super important, and that's landscaping your rental property. And it's also gonna show footage of how the landscaping went from start to finish. That way you can get some inspiration for do-it-yourself landscaping and kind of see how you can landscape your rental property pretty inexpensively and make the curb appeal go up a ton. All right guys, so this is what the fourplex I purchased looked like when I first bought it. And then here's a picture of what it looked like a month after. So that is just simple, very, um, that is just very simple landscaping that was done. Um, done all ourselves. Big shout out to my dad for coming every day after work and on weekends to help me uh, do labor in the hot sun. I really appreciate that. My dad did construction and um, renovations for a long time. So his expertise is always, always appreciated. But landscaping your rental property is beneficial for three reasons. First of all, it'll help decrease tenant turnover, meaning the tenants that you have already are less likely to want to leave when you come and the first thing you do is landscape their, uh, their outside view for them right away. So when they come home from work, they don't see weeds and trash and an ugly view, right? They come and see some nice curb appeal. The second reason is because it ups your curb appeal, meaning when you do have a vacancy, it makes it much easier to re-rent your units out because when you're bringing a tenant in to show them the unit, a prospective tenant, you're not seeing a bunch of weeds and garbage and an ugly landscape. It's something nice, clean, and simple, and that really helps up your curb appeal. And the third reason is if you're doing the Burr method where you're eventually going to cash out refinance or you're just getting your property reappraised, it's gonna, there's a good chance that if you did some good landscaping or if you, especially if you purchase a distressed property, that you're gonna be able to up your appraisal value and also eventually up the rents for your units. Obviously to up the rents, you'll also have to do more things than just landscape, but it's definitely a good first step. So this video is gonna show you some of the things, simple things that we did over the course of a few weeks to make the rental property go from this to that. Okay, so the first thing that was done was digging out all the old dirt, clay, and um, it was really hard dirt clay mixture that was also filled with like glass and trash and weeds and digging that out with a digging bar for many many hours and then a pickaxe and shoveling it all out and giving yourself enough depth that way you can eventually put crusher fine and nice paving stones but that process definitely took many days in the hot sun you know hitting all that clay and dirt out with a digging bar and a pickaxe and screening it all and separating everything and and trying to give yourself a nice level base to eventually put crusher fine, weed barrier, paver stones. That was step one. All right, so the second thing that was done was replacing a really bad slab of concrete that was in the walkway to the tenant's units. It was almost kind of a tripping hazard because the patch job was so poorly done that it rose up and you could slip on, or you could trip on it if you weren't paying attention. So we busted that out, um, cut relief lines with a saw, and a chipping hammer and then busted it out with a jack or uh, with a um, sledgehammer until it was completely out and then we framed up a new area for a new slab mixed uh, I think 11 pounds or uh, 11 bags of quick crete to make a new slab for the walkway all in all making a nice smooth uh, walkway for the tenant so that there's not a tripping hazard and it also just didn't look so so bad so after that was done replacing the old concrete and that concrete dried the next thing to do was to tamp and level the dirt. So like I mentioned, we had already dug out and screeded all the dirt and clay and trash that was accumulated in the little rectangular pits outside tenant's doorways. So after the dirt pits were all tamped and leveled, then the weed barrier was installed. Once the weed barrier is installed, then it was time for the crusher finds. The cool thing about crusher finds is that they're a very inexpensive option for landscaping. And then you can just get them, you can either go get them yourself and shovel them into your truck, or you can have a truck come dump it um, at your property and you can wheelbarrow it in. Um, we did a combination of both because the first truck I ordered was not enough for what we needed after tamping it down. So we went back and shoveled more into the truck. All in all though, it was still pretty inexpensive for the amount of crusher fines we needed. After installing the crusher fines, then we tamped the crusher fines down more and leveled them out with what is called a jig. It's basically a piece of uh, two by four that you cut um, that becomes flush with the concrete walkway. That way you can level it out to the depth you need to lay your paver stones. Once those steps were completed, it was basically time to buy the paver stones. 
Also, the paver stones that we got were from Home Depot and it was also very inexpensive. I believe it was like $1.39 a stone and it covers a pretty good square footage, so not too many stones were needed. They're pretty big squares. I think they were 12 by 12 inch squares. After we had the paver stones, we snapped lines to get the paver stones nice and straight. Um, the concrete pathway was a little bit warped, so we did our best to get the lines as straight as possible. Um, overall, at a glance, I think it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than it did before. It's not perfectly straight, but it'll definitely do. And then after the stones were laid down and spaced properly, the next step was to put a Portland, basically grout mixture into the grout joints and then wet it down so that it can set and those stones will be there forever. A nice inexpensive DIY landscaping project that'll last many, many, many years. The stones were a little hazy from using too much Portland in the Portland grout mix, so after that we acid washed the stones many times to try to bring out their natural colors. Um, it's not perfectly acid washed, it's still a little hazy in spots, but I think it looks a lot better. After that, the finishing touches were to get some artificial geraniums from Hobby Lobby. The reason I went with artificial geraniums was because they're very low maintenance. Obviously, you don't have to water them if, the, if uh, it gets extremely windy. It doesn't ruin your flowers every two weeks. The weather changes a lot here in Albuquerque. So using artificial geraniums, I think, is a very good thing to up your curb appeal year round, especially in the winter when your normal flowers would normally die. You can have really pretty flowers. And then that was basically the finishing touch. One of the other things that, that was done was painting the ugly chipped blue rusty wrought iron um, to a nice white to bring the color out of the stones and make everything look a little bit more uniform. But that'll be for another video. This one's basically about the landscaping. So overall, the curb appeal was upped tremendously and the whole place just looks a lot cleaner and nicer. And it was done relatively inexpensively with stones, crusher fine, weed barrier, um, plant, artificial plants, all of that stuff. It's, it was about $1,000, which is very good. And obviously we did it ourselves, so you have to factor in your time and labor. But just a $1,000 investment to up your curb appeal for the long term, make the place nicer and cleaner for your tenants, and basically just take pride in your, in your rental property. I think that's something a lot of, a lot of real estate investors neglect. And that's kind of how the word slumlord starts getting thrown around. You definitely don't want that um, connotation attached to you. So one of the best things you can definitely do is landscape your rental property. I hope this video was interesting. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave some inspiration to someone out there who's buying their first investment property. So the next video will be about painting the wrought iron and making that look nicer and all the things you need to do that, whether it's a wrought iron gate or security bars or a fence, whatever it is. It's a very simple thing that you can do. It's very inexpensive and it really makes the place look a lot better. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.